Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, drink water back. Working on the old uh, 1989 Dodge Ram Charger. Um, I was doing an inspection of my brake system and found that my uh, soft lines right here uh, by the wheels were getting bad, so I was going to replace them. And I did the uh, driver's side first. It went fine. I'm here on the passenger side, and uh, let me show you what I did. First, I'm going to show you why I'm changing out the uh, soft lines. Then I'm going to show you what happened and eventually show you how to change out uh, hard lines uh, on this 1989 Dodge Ram Charger. So first, this is the reason why I was changing them out. It's because of that right there. Bad condition. You can see the outer shell has been worn and broken through. And then so what I was doing was I was unscrewing the hard line from the soft line. And in doing so, um, this piece right here is supposed to rotate on itself. Well, it didn't, and I broke my hard line. So now what I'm doing is I'm changing out the hard line, which attaches down there, comes around, is being held by this clip right there and ties in right here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unbolt it back there take this out bring it to the auto parts store have one measured out and then I'm gonna install it and then I'll have fresh new brake lines from that point back towards here and uh, that should help me out so that's what it is I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, here we go. All right, people, I have just uh, unscrewed it, as you've seen, and we are going to uh, slowly just uh, pull this bad boy out. I'm going to have to open it up a little bit. So with a little bit uh, better persuasion from a bigger screwdriver, went ahead and undid that clip. And now all I gotta do is just pull it out so we can see it. Drain it into my bucket. All right, it's dry. So, but as you can see, this is where it tied in and broke off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to the parts store and get a new one and show you how to put it in. Okay, fellas, uh, back from the parts store. Here's my original piece. Here's the new piece. Um, I believe it's going to be too long. And they wanted to charge me like 75 bucks for a, um, a, a flare kit to flare this. So what I'm going to do is I bought this uh, relatively cheap tubing bender. I'm going to bend it as close as I can to this. I'm going to set it up. And then uh, I'm going to go to the... Uh, the auto mechanic shop and hopefully they'll better cut off and reflare it for me for a reasonable price so i'll uh let you know how it goes peace all right i got my new uh brake hose lined up taking this one off and we'll be installing a new one hey what's up guys this is what a uh 1989 Dodge Ram Charger 4x4 caliper looks up forward. These two bolts right here is what holds the caliper on. You pop those two off, caliper comes out. Uh, go ahead and support your caliper on top so you're not hanging on the uh, soft lines and uh, replace your uh, brake shoes. I'll also uh, show you the inside how it looks. So here is the uh, caliper. I have a piece missing 
right there but I don't see it leaking so I'm gonna go ahead and run it at least for a little bit if you have any comments questions about me running it like this let me know please and uh, see what we can do uh, you also want to check the uh, pads I had a little bit left uh, they look like they've worn pretty even so that's cool the caliper is working like it's supposed to that's why I'm not too worried about that chip because it, it is working I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up put a little bit of uh, grease on it help it slide and install the pads Rev, hey, put it in neutral and rev it up a little bit. Loud. Do it loud. There you go. Again. YouTube here is the uh, the ride after the uh, brake job 